Hello and welcome back to Smash and Hack. If you're just tuning in for the first time, I'm your host, DeoGenZ, and we are pitting texture hacks against texture hacks, seeing which of them will be superior in battle. And we're now reaching what I hope is the finale of the wireframe textures going at it here, because uh, so far, Bayonetta's got two wins, Peach has one, and Ganondorf has one, unfortunately for Palutena. No luck there, she hasn't been able to acquire a victory just yet, but will that change in this episode? Let's find out. Will we go into overtime? I've got no idea. But the only way to know is by pitting them against one another on Final Destination. And you know, it's funny, I was thinking about this the other day. Just the fact that we're getting all these new characters in the Smash by uh, way of the series here. And how it's very similar to, you know, I'm sure if you were a young child who had action figures, uh, I had dinosaur action figures and, of course, a couple of humans here or there for the dinosaurs to eat. So, you know, back when I was a child, a young little boy who uh, didn't have video games, I only had my imagination and a couple of 3D figures. I would pit them against one another and, and battle them out. So it's kind of funny when you think about like the whole master hand scenario and really how this is just kind of a simulation box for little children who want to pit their toys against each other. That's really what this is. It's like, my favorite character can beat your favorite character. Oh yeah? Yeah, let me show you. And then Smash was born. So, you know, out of humble beginnings of children playing with their toys, beating them against one another. And now he's gonna do his Super Kamehameha attack, watch this, blah! And, uh, you know, you're just smashing the figures against one another, you know, like a, like a little inane child does, trying to comprehend the world and its strengths and weaknesses, you know, because, like, why else would you be doing that? Uh, it's fun, that's why. And uh, so Smash is just really a more advanced version of that, and even more so now than ever, with Smash and Hack being at our disposal. If you're going to try and get some of these textures into your game, you can head on over to GameBanana.com. And no worries, although I'm playing this on an emulator, it does also work for the regular Wii U. So it takes a little bit more, it takes an SD card, takes a little bit of a transfer here and there. I think it might use a separate program, but you too can have all wireframe textures. And just do like, uh, you know, 100 man melee mode all over again. Oh man, I would always get so close, I would always get so, so close to beating that mode, and I would just constantly spam Donkey Kong's down B maneuver so that he could slam anybody who would come in. But it was always like the last 10 or the last 5 of the wireframes were actually tough. Uh, you know, and it's like, it's, it, it always bummed me out. I was so close, so close to victory. And then one of them would like kick me in the face and disrupt my uh, spamming of down B and then the other ones would, you know, gang up on me and they'd really uh, knock me out even though I was spending like a good hour or so trying to get through a hundred man melee. Ugh, man, the young days of youth. That was a redundant statement, but you know what I mean. So stupid back then. But, uh, you know, here I am today. Smashing wireframes together. So now who's the stupid one? That's right. It's these fools. Oh, and I guess it's me because we're going into overdrive. <laughs> See you next round.